This is Christina Girl Traveler. Today we are exploring Jilin, China or China's Winter Wonderland. Finally arrived in Chengtun and uh, now the, the adventure begins. Let's pick up my luggage and then we're gonna have a pickup. Hey ho! Hotel um, where I'll meet the rest of my group. I'm pretty excited actually. So here we are at the, like a press conference here. So we have a bunch of people and bloggers. This is pretty big. Glad I'm wearing my good coat. I don't know if you've ever been to a tourism conference before, but this is how China does their conferences. With all these exhibitions. Back on board. Oh, there are two things that Jillian is known for, and that is for its hot springs and its ski resorts. We're at a ski resort right now and this is huge. Oh. When you come to one of these ski resorts, they outfit you for everything. So you might not have ski clothes, but they will help provide it for you. Okay, it kind of tastes like bark a little. <laughs> bark night is falling really quickly, so we have to leave, unfortunately. We were supposed to go skiing, but we didn't have enough time. And it's back on the bus. Well, it's around 7 a.m. right now, and I'm at the hot springs uh, outside of our hotel. Okay, perhaps these running shoes were just not the best choice for winter snow. We are at Wu Song at the Rhymes. These are called the Rhymes. I'm not sure why. The branches are very fine. The snow's collected on them and they're very fine also. So it's this nice little furry bush, like white mascara. And it creates like these this gorgeous landscape. <laughs> Chinese at noon, that is always very interesting. <laughs> I think the translator is not working. The translator is not working. The perils of Google Translate. The river is just frozen over. Is this the world's biggest Buddha? Yep. Wow. I've seen a lot of big Buddhas before. I think that is the largest one I've seen yet. What we're entering right now is the Enlightenment Temple and this Buddha is 48 meters high. The pedestal under it is 48 meters high also and we're in the city of Donghua. Below the Buddha sits these rooms. So here I am at Lao Lake. Lake. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is probably the most impressive winter wonderland I've been to yet. I'm just surrounded by snow everywhere. I actually had to borrow snow boots because there's no way that my running shoes was gonna make it on a two hour walk across the lake. That's how high some of the snow is, like up to my kneecap. It's pretty powdery. It's very soft. And this is just like all these slates of snow. It's just crazy. If we were a kid playing here, I would I wouldn't want to go home. <laughs> now I'm gonna be cold and soaked for the rest of the journey. Damn it, I should have done this at the end of the video. And I wanted to see how soft that bed of snow was. <laughs> That's pretty soft. <sighs> because this place is so huge, it's easy to get distracted along the way. Taking selfies or playing in the snow. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it up to the lake because this is just a lot alone. So Abby, do you know what we're actually doing today? We got, oh no, we're gonna go to Chiang Mountain. We're gonna go to the hot springs. I didn't pay attention actually, to be honest. Yeah, but we can't go to the peak because it's do you remember what she said about why this mountain is so important? Um, I don't know, it's really beautiful. Like everything. Volcano. Oh, oh yeah, there's a volcano. That's, That's right. how the hot spring is fed by the volcano. Yeah. That's a special program. Right 
right now you really can't see much because everyone's kind of halted because the snowstorm has just gotten worse and it's just best to stand in one spot for a while until you can sort of make your way down. Some people are so die-hard though. I'm not gonna go up to that waterfall. This is just, it's just too dangerous. I shouldn't have even come up this far. Oh, holy mackerel. Nah. I'm just squatting at this point until it blows over a bit. I think my face must be all frostbitten by now. I guess Chinese are used to, to this kind of weather. They keep, just keep going up. Or maybe they have like protective gear for this. I would think um, with this kind of snowstorm, they would probably close the mountain until everything worked itself out, but wow, it's still open. <laughs> Apparently this is just nothing. Go back, eat my ramen, and then go down. <laughs> so basically I stepped on the wrong bus because I was flustered and wanting to just get back to someplace warm and I took the wrong bus to this place called Bridge to Encounter Celestial Being. It's a good thing that I actually have um, WeChat on my, my mobile phone um, as well as a sim because if I didn't have that capability to get in touch with the tour, the rest of the press trip, I would be so screwed if they're sending someone to get me. And there they are. Thank you, Shei Shei. In this lake, there's like jumping carp. Pretty yeah. amazing considering this is it's freezing cold out and this lake has, for some reason isn't frozen over yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Right now, we're in negative Celsius degrees. We're going to be on the river. I'm not sure what we're going to do on the river. So this is to protect us, I'm pretty sure. So that's what drifting is. Mildly scared. It's still my tip over. That was in the pond. This is the city wine right here. Cheers. That's like a lot of you up. Light the fire. It smells like medicine. Yeah. Tastes like medicine. <laughs> wow, we have like a whole house. Yeah. I have my bed and this bug flies on my face and I was just like, okay, this is it. I had it. She had a lot of bugs. <laughs> like a lot of bugs. They didn't clean it. You're the only one upstairs. Oh, I am. And then I climb up there. She has her room upstairs. Serious? No Wi-Fi? No. They said we have Wi-Fi though. They said each villa has Wi-Fi. We need Wi-Fi. Wow, we have a dining room. <laughs> a terrace and a dining room. That's amazing. Oh. Whoa. Wow, this is like our living room. Yeah. This should be downstairs. And TVs. We each have our own bathroom too. No, I mean, that would be, you know. Ooh. Oh, no way. That's amazing, huh? I want to see what it looks like during the day. Today, woke up to this amazing sight, and I'm just like, oh, I just want more time to film all this stuff. Like, everything looks like a set backdrop. For me, being in a theme oriented place like this, built around the idea of theater um, or the opera, is it's special to me. <laughs> Oh, 
Really hot pot is you take the, the meat or the, the vegetable, you boil it or cook it in the pot, you use your dipping sauce um, to dip your, your food into it and then you eat it. The vegetarian table right here. <laughs> My time was so short in China and I wish I could come, I hope to come back again. Okay. I love flying Asiana Air. So I think that concludes my trip to China and hope to come back again soon. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And until then, travel safe, smart, and fun. I will see you here in China. And may the girl be with you.